What's going on guys? This is KD and welcome back to GetTutorialize.com Today I'll be showing you how to make a obstacle avoider pot. So it basically uses infrared sensors to avoid the obstacles and this is basically a DIY kit. I bought it from Vega RoboKit. You have to place all the components on the PCB, solder them, make the connections, assemble the chassis and I'll be simplifying every bit of this in this tutorial so let's go ahead and unbox this this is a casing oh, well. uh, these are the brackets and this is the front support so two wheels and one caster wheel Yeah, these are 60 RPM motors and the caster wheel they have provided for the CC. Your sensor cables and your sensors. Oh yeah, and this is the PCB. So you have to just find the right component, place it here and solder it from the opposite side. They have also provided another PCB, but this is not exactly a PCB because there is nothing printed around here. So if you are submitting this project to any educational institution or say for example your college, this thing right here might be very helpful. All the assembly components, screws, nuts and bolts. This is a battery holder and to your surprise it only runs on 3 volts. So make sure you use heavy duty batteries. This looks like the user manual. The description and the working, all the parts list that is all the electronic and semiconductors, the sensor board, the description. This appears to be the circuit diagram, all the electronic parts list you will be needing. How to assemble, blah blah blah. So we'll be first beginning with the chassis. So let's go ahead and assemble this and I'll show you how the chassis looks after assembling this. Now this is basically how your chassis looks after you complete its assembly. This is the caster wheel, the front support, the left bracket and the right bracket. Now the next thing you have to do is you have to take a motor, insert it into the bracket and use the nuts and bolts provided to fix it. So there goes the left motor and the opposite way goes the right motor. So let's just go ahead and do that. Here we go. We have completed the assembling of the chassis. So it has the motors and these are the tires. So after we have completed the assembly, let's move on to the connections. So this is basically the PCB and these are the components so let's go ahead and start with the connections now coming to the PCB connections uh, we're seeing some resistors say R1 to R13 so there are 13 resistors overall and you can see on the PCB there are values of resistors say 500 ohms 1 kilo ohm and there are many more so the basic challenge here is you have to just go ahead in the bag of your components find the perfect resistor of the perfect resistor resistance value place it on this pcb and just solder it from the other side so before you get the solder soldering iron in your hand make sure you scrape off the legs of all the components because there is a tiny coating which doesn't allow these components to get soldered on so let's start with the resistors first then we shall move to the capacitors and so on so we have completed with all the 14 resistors so the next thing we'll be doing we'll be soldering the presets which is preset 1 preset 2 which is of 10 kilo ohm which looks something like this this is basically a kind of potentiometer so there are two of them which go here and here 
so let's just go ahead and solder these now since we have completed with both the presets which go which went here and here now since we have completed with both the 10 kilo ohms presets we'll be moving to the capacitors which are of 10 uf and which look like this and they'll be going over here and here so please make sure that you are soldering them with the right polarity now since we have completed with the capacitors we will be moving to the semiconductor components now the first thing which I mentioned is diodes D1, D2 and D3 which goes with the value 1 and 4148 and which go here, here and here so this is a diode and they have a polarity so the black part is a negative so make sure you solder them correctly and yeah the dash over there is the negative part of the diode so there are only three of them should not take long then with the diodes the next thing we will be soldering are the transistors so if you have located all the d's over here those are the symbols of the transistors there are two types of transistors 9012 and 9013 so and there are 12 numbers so make sure you solder them correctly in the correct place and let's just do it so we have done with the transistors the next thing on our list is IC4093 which is quad 9 gate IC and make sure not make sure you are not soldering the IC instead you are soldering the IC socket which goes right over here after that we will be soldering the switch the battery terminals the sensor terminals and the motor terminals which go here and here so let's do that and complete our circuit connections we have completed with all the connections of the components uh, these are the two terminals for the sensors your battery terminals and your left and right motor terminals I have also soldered the terminals of the motor and brought up the connectors to the holes these connectors should be connected to these two terminals I have also soldered the battery terminals and added some heavy duty batteries Now what remains on this board is the placement of this PCB, the battery pack and the third thing is the sensors. Now since this is an obstacle avoider board, those two sensors shall be acting like the headlights of this board. So make sure you are facing those sensors as if the mod is moving forward. So let's just go ahead and place all these components very well and I'll get back to you. So here we go, we have finally completed with all the assembly and the connections of this obstacle avoider board. Now as I said earlier, these two infrared sensors should be facing the front. So as the board will be going in the front side, this is your battery pack. Motor soldered well. I just used some spacers or extenders to connect the PCB. So the wire pro the wires provided are pretty long over here, so I'll just club all of these wires with a cable tie or something and we'll get this bot to avoid the obstacles.